Unit 7. Finance. Track 38. Evan Griffiths. Can you tell me about your business idea in a nutshell? I set up my own e-book publishing company, eSellers, which led me to create an online bookstore. I've now developed my own e-reader, also called the e-seller. Mm. The idea is to make the e-seller reader smaller and smarter so that it fits easily into a pocket or handbag. Mm. Oh, we'd like to know a little more about your professional background. Uh, what kind of knowledge and expertise have you got? I'm a former management consultant turned a serial entrepreneur. Mm. So I'm good at maths and I know how to run a business. Mm. I'm also a big thriller reader and I'm writing my own e-thriller at the moment. <laughs> Give me three good reasons why we should invest in you. Um, uh, first of all, I've already set up two businesses successfully. Mm -hmm. uh, secondly, uh, when I set up the company last year, I would have been uh, happy for e-sellers to rank fifth by sales worldwide. But now we have an 8% share of the e-book market and with some venture capital, I think we can be number two. Oh, so you're pretty ambitious then. Yes, definitely. And, and thirdly, I'm convinced this will be the year of the e-book. Unit 7. Finance. Track 39. Agnes McQueen. What makes you think people are going to buy an expensive Scottish goat's cheese? Because it's a quality product. And people are basically willing to pay a bit extra because it's produced by a carbon neutral company. Green consumer products are in demand again. That's a fact. Do the you Scottish mind me... Oh, Sorry. No, please carry on. You know... The Scottish Government hopes there will be 200,000 new jobs created in green industries over the next five years, and we want to be a part of that new economy. Do you mind me asking why your partner isn't here today? She's your sister, right? How do you work together? Um, well, we're co-directors, and one of us needed to stay in the office today. People say I'm more the public relations person, whereas Morag's a bit shy. But she's absolutely brilliant at the nitty-gritty and the figures. We make a great team. You say you're passionate about your business. Aye. Being passionate as an entrepreneur is all very well, but what about the money? Mm. I get the impression you're not in this for the money, are you, Agnes? Well, of course, you know, there are financial benefits, both for us and for you as investors, but I wouldn't say we're only in it for the money. It's a family business, and most importantly, we pride ourselves on being a carbon-neutral company. Unit 7. Finance. Track 40. Trolls McClintock. We were wondering what kind of investment you were looking at. We obviously haven't got £55 million to spare. Well, yes, no, I, I realise you're a small syndicate, but I heard that Scotland was investing in early stage risk capital. I've also been talking to Edinburgh University and they're prepared to co-invest in this venture. Huh. Actually, I'll be going to the States soon to talk to some aircraft manufacturers there as well as a shipbuilding company. Mm. I think people are very excited about being involved in a venture of this scale. Uh, I'd like you to be honest here and tell me whether you've ever done anything like this before. Well, I'm an aeronautical engineer and an expert ballooner. Uh, I've set several world records for travelling by hot air balloon and, of course, this is a completely new venture. So, yes, I, I accept it's risky, mm -hmm. but we've got to start thinking outside the box if we want to change the world. We, we, you know, we can't rely on oil like we've done in the past. The future is renewable energy. Uh, to tell the truth, it sounds completely crazy. Do you really think you'll be able to carry it through? Well, what can I say? Uh, my family are adventurers and we've always taken risks. My father was a mountain climber and my grandfather, who was a Scot, was a pilot. If you invest in solar, you'll be part of an amazing solar-powered adventure. 